Hi Praja. Hi, I'm Dr. Raj. So I'm also known as Sifu Science Dr. Raj. As you can see, this is going to be my video pertama that I'm going to launch into my new channel on uh, Chemistry, Physics, Bio under the title of my channel called Sifu Science Dr. Raj. So I would like you all to subscribe it, press the uh, bell button for all the latest information yang akan keluar in dual language, Chemistry, Physics, Bio. Promising you one thing. Title-title yang saya nak rakamkan, all the titles will be something very important and majority of the Malaysian students need it. Those are the titles that majority of the students are having problems. And I'm starting today with chemical equation. Let's look at this. Now, chemical equation, when you talk about in chemistry, kimia ya, dua language ya. So, in chemistry, chemical equation ialah the starter of kimia. So if the equation salah, if you don't know how to write an equation, don't know how to write persamaan-persamaan kimia, then we are jammed in chemistry. So persamaan kimia always starts with a positive charge and a negative charge. Ion yang bercharge positive, ion yang bercharge negative. Therefore, what we need to understand, eh, begini pelajar, very simple. I will go with you with a little bit of the basic dulu. That means level pertama. Then later on, I will go with harder areas, yeah? Dalam level pertama, look at this. Kita bermula dengan cation. The word is called cation. Cation means ions which are positive charge. In our syllabus, our cations in Bahasa Malaysia is called cation. Yeah? Same thing ni. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, carbon, zinc, iron, stannum. Yeah? Sn, stannum. Hydrogen, stannum, lead first, hydrogen, copper, and blah 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 blah. So, positive, positive, two positive, two positive, three positive. Carbon, they don't carry charge because carbon adalah bukan logam. So, they share their electron, berkongsi. They are non-metals. This will be two positive, two positive, or... It can be three positive. So why they have got dual uh, nilai? Why do they have two different value? Because they fall under transition element. That we will learn detail on other areas, other videos. So this will be two positive or sometimes four positive. Two positive, four positive. Hydrogen is one positive. Copper, carbon, copper or we call it as uh, cuprum in Bahasa Malaysia. Copper will carry one or two positive. So these are the elements of positive charge. So what about the elements which are negative charge? So rule number one, some of you will have in the mind, sir, how come? Why, why, why is it one positive? Why is it two positive? So this is what we call them, we call them as valence. I will talk about the valence in some other videos, not today. So pleasure, let's look at this part. We have got N ions, which are negatively charged. So the N ions we have to know are sulfate, nitrate, chloride, bromide, iodide, hydroxide, carbonate, oxide, and blah, blah, blah. There are so many more. So now, the charges, two negative, negative, which are also known as valence. Negative, 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 two negative, and two negative. So... The story here tells us that we have to know some of their name. Nama itu penting ya. Their name. So we call this as sulfate. Sulfate. This is called nitrate in English. This is called chloride. This is called bromide. This is called iodide. This is called hydroxide. This is carbonate. Carbonate. And this is oxide. So, Bahasa Malaysia, oxida. Carbonate. Carbonate. This one, hydroxida. Iodida. Bromida. Chlorida. Nitrate, sulfate, sulfida. Okay? So, 
These are perkataan-perkataan yang kita kena tahu in BM. So let's look at this side pula. Potassium. Kita panggil ni, we call this as potassium. Nitrium. Another word, sodium. Another word, BM, kalium. Calcium. Calcium. Magnesium. Aluminium. Carbon. Zinc. Iron. Stannum. Lead. Hydrogen. Copper. Ah, ini cerita dia belajar. Jadi mengikut sorry ini bahasa Malaysia besi lah. Kita panggil besi, kita panggil timah, kita panggil plumber. In BM we call them plumber. Hydrogen is hydrogen. Ejaan dia berubah. This one dia kambing dipanggil sebagai copper. Kita panggil sebagai copper. Okay. So once you know the charges and you know the name, okay contoh ni lah. Ramai pelajar sangkut dekat teknik menulis half ionic equation. Jom kita lihat. What is this? Half ionic equation, we also can call this as half chemical equation. So, bahasa Malaysia, separa kimia. Separa kimia. So, this is known as persamaan separa kimia. Half chemical equation. Example. We take an example of a perkataan Yang pernah kita tengok Number one The word is called magnesium Contoh ni I can take anything from here Anything from there And combine So magnesium Let's say magnesium carbonate Magnesium carbonate So what's my symbol of magnesium carbonate? Magnesium symbol here Mg Two positive Check Magnesium is too positive, right? And then combine with carbonic. Second word from there, CO3 to negative arrow. Now when you write this, you must be careful. Capital C, capital O. Make sure the sizes are the same. Don't make the O become small, the C big. Now that will be a different item, really, right? So capital C, capital O, right? Magnesium, capital M, small g. That means one element. One huruf besar, one huruf kecil. One big word, one big alphabet, one small alphabet is considered one element. Two big alphabet, two element. Carbon and oxygen. Yeah, that is the meaning. So, when you combine, it will become magnesium carbonate. That's it. Now, why I get my answer this way? When the valence are the same. Color, valency, dear summer. Kalau balance dia sama, kita gabungkan saja. We just combine them and the balance are the same. MgCO3. So the symbol of magnesium carbonate will be MgCO3. That's it. Example number two. We take another word. Anything from here that you like. Example, we take copper. Two. <coughs> Oxide. Okay, symbol for copper. Copper is cuprum. The symbol will be Cu. Roman letter 2 means you are using 2 positive. Check. Copper got 2 different numbers. 2 different balance. 1 and 2. So we will take the 2 and put up. Because they told us to use the 2, not the 1. So, when the balance are different, when they have different balance, they will tell us which one to use. Yang mana satu nak gunakan. Satu ke dua akan disebut pada soalan. Interreacting with oxide. O. 2 minus. Check and see. Your O is 2 minus. See that? That's why this chart is so important guys. Lupa kita sangkut. And I have not given you the full last. The full blast chart. Ini baru permulaan. Teaser dia. Okay. So 2 positive. 2 negative. The value are the same. Dua lelaki. Dua perempuan, positif lelaki, negatif perempuan, sama banyak, gabungkan. Kalau sama banyak, you gabungkan. So, the answer for copper 2 oxide will become 
CUO. Lihat pelajar? Now, let me show you nombor tiga. Aluminium. Aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxida. Bagaimana kita buat dengan kes ini? Example, kalau aluminium oksida, aluminium ialah tiga positif, cek carta, look at your chart. Aluminium is three positif, we have to memorize it. Reacting with oxide, oxide is two minus, cek. Oxide ialah dua minus, from there. Now this one, lain cerita dia. Kalau balance dia tak sama, if the balance are not the same, very simple. Balance not the same, bring the two in front. Bring the three to the side. That's it. Itu saja. So, bila letak jawapan, AL, bring the two down. O, bring the three down. AL2, O3. So, itu jawapan. So, the answer will be AL2, O3. This is what I meant. When the balance are not the same, how do we balance it? So, this is my first video on this title, Chemical Equation. I will do more But I need your favor. Please subscribe and tell all your friends through your WhatsApp, your Facebook or whatever way you know. Tell them to look into the videos of Dr. Raj, Sipu Science Dr. Raj on YouTube. Stay tuned for the next channel. Stay tuned, sorry, for the next video.